Hello everyone, my name is Bo Wen. Today I'm introducing our paper, Bundle Track, 6D Post Tracking for Novel Objects Without Instance or Category Level 3D Models, co-authored with Costa Spackers. Previous work have approached the 6D Post Tracking problem with different levels of assumptions. For those methods that rely on instance-level CAD models, they cannot generalize to novel or non-objects without a CAD model. Other methods relax this assumption to category-level 3D models for training, whereas they cannot generalize to objects from unseen categories. Therefore, 6D post-tracking without instance or category-level models for instant application to novel objects is desired. Given an input of RGBD sequence and an initial mask which could be imperfect, unlike related works, it doesn't require instance or category-level models for training. Bundle track outputs the transformation at any timestamp relative to the initial pose in front of the camera. When there is a predefined coordinate frame for the object, its initial pose is used for initializing the tracking. Otherwise, the initial absolute object pose is simply set to identity by treating the camera's origin as the unknown object's local coordinate frame. Our contributions can be summarized as follows. First, a novel 60 pose tracking framework that generalizes to novel instances without instance or category-level 3D models. Second, the first complementary integration of a deep learning and well-established post-graph optimization for efficient and accurate 60 post tracking. Third, an efficient CUDA implementation, which allows for the first time to execute online the computationally heavy post-graph optimization for 60 object post tracking. This allows accurate post estimation while reducing long-term drift compared to tracking via reconstruction approaches. Last, state-of-the-art results, boosting the previous best accuracy from 33.3% to 87.4% under the 5 degree 5 cm metric in the NOx dataset, even when compared against the approaches using category-level 3D models, comparable performance on the YCB in OAT dataset, even when compared against the approaches using instance-level 3D models. Here is the overview of bundle track. A video segmentation network returns the object mask given the prior one. On the object region, key points and their descriptors are detected. Key points are matched and a course registration is performed between consecutive frames to estimate an initial relative transform. Key frames are selected from a memory pool to participate in the post-graph optimization with the latest frame. The online post-graph optimization outputs a refined spatial temporal consistent pose for the latest and historical keyframes, and the latest frame is included in the memory pool if it is a normal view to enrich the diversity. For video segmentation, we use off-the-shelf network Transductive VOS. The network is trained on Davis 2017 and the YouTube VOS datasets. In this paper, the pre-trained network is fixed and no pre-training or fine-tuning is performed. Therefore, it can be imperfect. However, bundle track is robust to such noisy segmentations as shown in the later experiments. Key point and the descriptors are detected by LFNet. The network is trained on wild 2D indoor images from ScanNet dataset such that the key points are not limited to specific instances or categories. In all our experiments, these pre-trained network weights are fixed without retraining or fine-tuning. The network takes a single image and outputs n key points and their corresponding feature descriptors. Key points are first matched by searching for nearest neighbors in the feature space implemented in CUDA for parallel computation. Renzak identifies and rejects outliers as shown in red. Then the 60 posts can be solved in closed form given the correspondences and will be used for initializing the post graph for later refinement. Keyframes are selected to participate in the post graph optimization with the latest frame to balance an efficiency versus accuracy trade off. An iterative greedy selection process is performed by starting with the keyframe set 0. This is repeated until a desired number of keyframes is obtained. In post graph optimization, each node represents the pose of the corresponding frame. Between each pair of nodes, edges correspond to two kinds of energy terms. EF is given by the feature constraints. Specifically, if the feature correspondences between two nodes have been identified previously, they are reused. Otherwise, the previous described local pair data association step is applied. EG is given by the geometric constraints. In this work, pixel-wise point-to-plane distance is associated by reprojection. The spatial temporal consistency is achieved when the total energy of the graph is minimized. The entire post-graph optimization is implemented in CUDA for parallel computation. The refined pose at the current timestamp is output as the tracked pose. The refined poses corresponding to historical frames are also updated in the memory pool. To augment the memory pool, the initial frame is always selected as it does not suffer from any tracking drift. 
For later frames, once the current object pose is determined, its rotation geodesic distance against each existing keyframe in the pool is compared. If it is from a novel view, it is augmented into the keyframe memory pool so as to enrich multi-view diversity. Here shows the quantitative results on NOX dataset. Comparison points include state-of-art methods NOX, Keypoint Net, Mask Fusion, Sixpack, Tether++, and ICP. For the metrics of 5 degree 5 cm and IOU25, higher means better. For metrics R arrow and T arrow, they denote rotation arrow in degree and translation arrow in centimeter respectively. Lower means better. As shown in the table, Donald Track significantly outperforms other state-of-art methods on their own metrics and overall object categories, boosting the previous best accuracy from 33.3% to 87.4% under the 5 degree 5 cm metric. Notably, Boundary Track also reduces the assumptions and eliminates the requirements of either instance or category level 3D models. Here shows a qualitative comparison of Boundary Track against Mask Fusion, Tether, and Six Pack, given their more competitive results among alternatives. Mask Fusion's global SLAM module is disabled to avoid inferring static object pose from estimated camera's eagle motion in order to solely evaluate its 60 object pose tracking effectiveness. Following Six Pack's protocol, the first frame's pose is augmented with random translation noise to initialize tracking. You deformly sampled frames in the testing videos are dropped to simulate challenges of missing frames. This tests the robustness of each tracking approach. During tracking, no reinitialization is allowed. We also evaluated on the public YCB in OIT dataset. Comparison methods include Deboard PF, SC3 TrackNet, RGF, Mask Fusion, T3++, and a 6-pack. Although without any 3D model prior, Bundle Track achieves even comparable results to the state-of-art instance model-based SC3 TrackNet. Here shows the qualitative comparison of Bundle Track against SC3 TrackNet. 6-pack, Tether++, and a Mask Fusion. The same evaluation protocol as SC3 TrackNet is followed, where the first frame's pose is initialized from ground truth. During tracking, no reinitialization is allowed. Thank you for watching.